Now let's look at the application of VLANs. We will first discuss how to do VLAN planning. Actually, VLAN planning should follow several assignment rules. For example, we should assign VLAN by service. Different service should be in different VLANs. And also we can assign by department or by application. Different devices from department or from different applications should belong to different VLANs. So this is an example. And also we need to assign um, continuous VLAN subnet to different VLANs. So for example, let's look at this uh, network. Assume that we have three buildings and in the first building, they have office, classroom and financial section. So they will have three sections. This is classroom and this is financial section. So we can assign each section with a VLAN. So VLAN 1, VLAN 2, VLAN 3. And teaching building with office. So VLAN 1 and the classroom, VLAN 2. And then the office building with office, VLAN 1. And financial, VLAN 3. So this is the architecture. And these three switch actually are connected to a call switch. Okay, so that is the architecture of this uh, VLAN, uh, of this building, of these three buildings. Now we should uh, assign different subnet into different VLAN. So we should assign, for example, this 10.0 for VLAN 1 and there's 20.0 to VLAN 2 and 30.0 to VLAN 3. That's all for the VLAN uh, assignment and IP address allocation. Okay, so this is an example. We have learned two kinds of VLAN assignment. For example, we have the interface-based VLAN assignment and also the MAC address-based VLAN assignment. Now let's look at at which application scenario should we use this interface-based and at which scenario we should use the MAC-based. So first, let's look at the interface-based. Assume you are in such a uh, scenario. So you are the administrator of a building and in this building you actually provide service for three different enterprise. Then uh, probably you should allocate your uh, devices for these three ent enterprises and you want them to share all the uh, switch routers, these devices. But to guarantee the separation of the access of these three different enterprise, you need to give this enterprise with separate VLAN. So one VLAN for one enterprise. In this case, because each enterprise may occupy several office and they will not change office with each other. So you can simply uh, let the uh, VLAN combined with the interface, and then they are fixed. They will not be moved later on. This is the application scenario for the interface-based VLAN assignment. The interface uh, connected with Enterprise 1 to VLAN 2, and the interface is connected with this enterprise to another VLAN, then that's okay. Then these, each VLAN works as a virtual work group and they cannot access with each other. So that's the application scenario for interface-based VLAN. However, if we think of another case, for example, now you are not the administrator of a building, you are the network administrator of an enterprise. Then in, under your enterprise, you have several employees and each employee will bring their own laptop or their PCs, then actually you will allow only these PCs to access your enterprise network. If the PC are not authorized, then they should not access. So in this application scenario, actually the MAC address based VLAN assignment will be more suitable because you should, you can give these PCs with the listed MAC address the permission to access your network. 
but if there comes another computer, their MAC address is not in the allowed uh, list, in the permission list, then it cannot access this network. Even if one uh, employee bring another network, he cannot access. Bring another PC, he cannot access. So this actually allows secure access in your enterprise.